All right, welcome back. I'm TJ. We got a ton of awesome guys here. What is your degree? I can't even remember. It's aerospace, aerospace. engineering. The, the biggest thing I want to kind of convey in this video is it's hard for me to kind of talk about it and say, hey, this is what we want to do. But I will tell you directly, and it, it's kind of bridging the gap between hobby and career. So there's a big, there, there is a uh, kind of correlation between them, but there's also disconnect. So me, I'm hobby. I play with toys for a living. These guys are going to go on to do amazing things in their careers in the future, but on that path, they're still hobby. Uh -huh. So this is awesome. I'm going to shut up. Anders Lou, you may remember him. We've done a lot of stuff at Flight Test, or he did a lot of stuff. No, we did a lot of stuff together, really man. Cool. It's good times. <laughs> Stop talking. Okay. But, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. He, he's amazing. He is extremely smart. I've always been humbled by this guy. And now he has a team. Yeah, so um, our team is Design Build Fly at Ohio State. Um, and I'm actually going to throw this over to David here. He's our president. I'm David, the president of Design Build Fly here at The Ohio State University. So what Design Build Fly is, it's a student competition sponsored by AIAA, which is the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics and every year we design a new airplane to different mission requirements and uh, basically what we're doing is we're applying the things we learn in the classroom to things that we're actually uh, doing in real life that's going to help us with our career here like actually building these uh, RC airplanes here. So I'm Parker, I'm vice president of the club. I'm a junior like everyone except Andres and then uh, well, and Caleb, I'm, <laughs> Caleb as well. uh, I'm an aerospace engineering or only mechanical is Caleb down the line and my, my main uh, function in the in the club was to handle the, the back end and did a lo little bit of uh, analysis work early on. So uh, <laughs> my name is Caleb Pauly. I'm uh, I'm the lone mechanical engineer in this group of, of aero guys, but <laughs> I've, I've kind of been surrounded by aviation my whole life, uh, being a pilot and, and being also around the RC hobby as well. So uh, yeah, really excited to, to, to work with the team here, bring some of my experience actually building full scale, you know, uh, experimental aircraft to to this as well. Hi, I'm David. I'm the, the president of Design Build Fly here. And my big thing that this year was moving the club from a lot more balsa and monocoque construction to more uh, a lot more advanced composites. Like we used a lot of ca carbon fiber this year. So that gives us also a great uh, strength to weight advantage as far as the materials go. And also uh, it's a material that we can expect to be working with in our careers. Uh, balsa wood and monocoque is great, but it's not something that you really build real airplanes out with. So we want to give our members a lot of real world experience that they can uh, use in the future as well. Dude, that, awesome. that, that actually brings up a really good point. Mm -hmm. So I do want to dive in. I know we're itching to go fly, but I do want to dive in kind of, you know, what 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 is it made of? I mean, mm -hmm. it does look like carbon fiber on the outside. So the, the wing is made out of foam core, just like you find that foam, the insulation at Lowe's. We have a CNC cutter that takes that foam and cuts out the perfect profile we have based on our CAD models. And we just overwrap that with a shingle, single layer of uh, carbon fiber fabric. Wow. Uh, we did the same process for the tails. We actually have Kevlar running along the hinge lines make a live hinge so uh, we don't add any hinges in it or anything it's right out of the vacuum bag that's how it comes we just cut that hinge line out and it's ready to go mm -hmm. the the fuselage just actually has layers of fiberglass sandwiched in between the carbon fiber and what that does is uh, adds extra strength fiberglass is actually stronger than carbon fiber but the carbon fiber is stiffer so by using those two materials we're getting the best of both worlds in there <laughs> so if you just stand back and look at it it looks like a foam board airplane with mm -hmm. some like fancy painting or <laughs> yeah. Like seriously, I, yeah. I, I really want to kind of put that point out there. This is really engineered and really engineered well. So when we dive into the insides, hey, Andrews, you want you want to talk about it just for a little sure, bit? Sure, man. Yeah. So David did a great job explaining like the the structure of the plane, um, but the internals are probably just as interesting. Um, yeah. So for this year's competition, uh, it's basically a sensor sort of payload deployment and retraction um, mission. We have to tow a sensor behind our plane, fly it like that, and then bring it back up into the plane. Um, so a lot of moving parts there. Um, we have, you know, your normal servos, electronics, receivers, stuff like that in the plane. But on top of that, we also have a winch mechanism that we built, you know, from scratch, designed from scratch, built from scratch, um, that we have in there using a rock crawler motor, actually. So kind of a RC <laughs> car stuff awesome, in our RC plane. But that guy in there, you know, rotates um, to, to deploy the sensor and retract the sensor. Uh, so lots of moving parts. Honestly, also a lot of points of failure. Uh, but hey, that's why, you know, this is so exciting. It keeps it interesting. Exactly. Right? It makes yeah, it particularly it fun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. One cool thing I really do like this. It says because I was inverted on the side and it is yes. upside down. Well, the payload has to release from the top. So they actually got to fly this inverted. Exactly. Uh, we won't touch on too much of that. Just say that it's in the rules that, you know, one of the things is you have to load it in a certain time period. Mm -hmm. You get more points the faster you can load it. So that went into account. We could talk about this all day long. 
but I want to see it fly. So let's get ready. Yep, let's do it. One cool thing about this is he's got a lot of stickers down the side of it. A lot <laughs> of sorry. different names, but they're sponsors, right? Yeah, we get uh, a lot of you know great sponsors for uh, DBF at o Ohio State, um, and we're really fortunate to have you know so many supporters. So like Boeing um, donated a lot of funds. Thank you, Boeing. Uh, Buddy RC is helping us uh, out a lot. Flight Test. Um, so just we have some really great supporters um, that we couldn't have done this without. Um, so thank you guys. Yeah, and if you want to support teams like this people like this look at your local schools there's a lot of people from elementary high school colleges you know if you're a business take a look at it help them out all right we're ready to fly ready all right i'm gonna take off i do want to do a little quick circle just to get the pretty shot <laughs> before good. we leave and then uh so dude i'm i'm good man let's awesome. uh let's, let's get, in the get air. it rolling all right cool here we go That, is that looks so, so much. much better. That definitely feels a lot better. It feels more stable too, right? It, a little bit. Uh, it does a little bit. I'll Still a little it. wobbly, but climb is so much better this time. Yeah, once you get inverted, it should be really stable. Dude, yeah. in but my view. It still view, looks more stable than it was last time. Well, it just climbs just so much faster. Yeah, it's well, definitely still wing, pretty rocky. The wing, yeah, I guess Ooh. the wing rock is still kind of there. Definitely there. Okay. <laughs> Turning Does left. It, is it wanting to drop a wing or... I think that's him. Is that you? It's a little squirrely, yeah, but it's. Turning. What are your rates? Pretty high. Okay. Lots they of look photo. like they look like they're a little bit up there. It's like the sun. Wind fences. Yeah. Motors. Definitely feels a whole lot better. We already have like twice out to do the last. Time. Oh yeah, say, yeah, I dude, you're so hot. Part of it yeah. is it's just still windy. I don't. Yeah, it's it's definitely still pretty gusty. What um, would you so... say though? I feel like it still looks a little more stable with the wing fences on there. Oh yeah, I mean the wind probably will have detail. It's such a huge detail. Yeah. You go inverted this next uh, upwind. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna turn her it. around, and then uh, we're gonna try inverted in three, two, one. How is she? She's falling. A little yeah. bit. Definitely needs some back pressure or feel. Yeah, it, it definitely pulled back up though. Now, yep. how's it feel? Pretty stable. Right, turn it. It feels fine. <laughs> <laughs> better more or less stable. now does it feel better here that's the question it does it so far it, i'll say it feels a little better it looks, it's not rocking as it much looks it looks a little looks better more stable. it it's looks because so you have much the weight of that fuselage and batteries lower than the cord light of the wing exactly so. a little bit of a pendulum effect yeah it looks like it's faster than last time so that's a beautiful shot down the awesome so I will say it is faster. Um, I'm I'm having to fight more to keep up with it. Yeah. So you, you definitely got more speed. Still half or? I'm lowering down to about 60 now. Okay, well that's not bad. What's the Greek guy like fly too close to the sun? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, the dude with the wax wings. On yeah, the yeah, the wax wings. I can't remember now. Because <laughs> he just flew right through the sun there. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Yeah, sorry guys. Are <laughs> oh, you good? Shout out sunglasses. Yeah, I'm on, I'm going under. Epic. Just got a shot of the doors up close and personal. Sweet. Oh, speaking oh, of the doors. Oh, do you want to open those? Yeah. Tell me when. Go for it. And now. Nice. How are your flight characteristics? Feel about the same. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. If you can close them. Up. Nice. Oh, boy. Good. And then I would definitely flip it there. over. Nice. Beautiful. Sweet. Sorry, I didn't give you a heads up there, but <laughs> I was no, like, no, you know, I should probably just do it now. I was going to say. You were still in frame. Awesome. How's your power feel? You feel like you're losing anything, or are you still? Uh, yeah, I felt like on the top end, I was probably losing a bit. I was bit. gonna say it seems like you're you're definitely losing a little altitude. Yeah. Although that probably was just partially. You wanna do a low approach now? I'm gonna try and approach, yeah. Okay. But no landing this time. Uh, potentially landing. All right. Feel it out. Now, one thing I will say is, last time on that last landing, it looks like you stalled it. Yeah, it did look. Uh, it was a little bit slow last time. I'll keep the throttle up. Ooh. Oh boy. Okay. Go around. Just go. Go around. You can always go around. <laughs> nice, dude. All right. Let's try Woo. This again. No, that never happened. Though. It was a little sketchy. Edit that out in post. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, double A doesn't need to see this. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to go get my. All right, let's back up so you can see. Uh, Thanks, guys. And just get out of the way. <laughs> Crap. I gotta get the drone. <laughs> 
Nice, nice. Oh. All right. We're good. Landing belly landing, here. belly landing. Woo. All right, time for some five minutes. Good enough. <laughs> I gotta get my quad. That was not <laughs> great. Happened to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Andrews was worried about that before we left the lab today. I guess he was right. Yeah. I could have sworn I heard it pop a little bit. Well, right. uh, heat-wise, feels fine. Caleb, you want a hand launch? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we want to carry back and do some repairs? Yes, yep. sir. Okay. All right, so we're not gonna to talk too much right now. So we got the landing gear fixed, replaced, new yes, batteries sir. in it, sensor loaded. So this flight, we're gonna go up. What are you gonna do? So we're gonna go up, take it probably for a lap around upright, uh, flip it up, inverted, keep on gaining altitude. Beginning of the third lap, downwind. Okay. I wanna drop that sensor. Downwind? As... Uh, sorry, upwind. Okay, okay so... I'm gonna shut up and get in the air. Cool, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Ready. It looked fine. Good job, guys. Oh, it's, it's windy. It's heavy. Heavy? Yeah. Tail heavy? It's just heavy. Just heavy. Just heavy. So how much does the sensor sweep weigh that you just put in? About a pound. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's still doing about as good as it was last time, though. I'm yeah. saying last time, we, first time we flew. Yeah, just on Maybe even off. better. Cool. Still yeah. looks really solid in the sky. Thanks, man. Yeah. It definitely still feels better than, like, our first <laughs> flight with the smaller motors. How smaller much power motors. you got? Still 100? I'm on 100 right now, yeah. Okay. You look really nose high. Yeah, yeah you're... Yeah. Single. It does. You don't have flaps in, right? I did, thank you. Okay. <laughs> no, that would actually bring your nose down, but... That's pretty steep. Yeah. He gone. All right, we're gonna go inverted now. Nice. Okay. Got it? All right. All right. Uh, we're going to open Bombay doors. Ready? Ready. Now. Way behind you. Let it go. Be good. Oh, my goodness. Good God. Is it not going? You got. It's going. We're doing a slow turn. It's a little jerky. Definitely, oh definitely oh keep boy. altitude if you can. Yeah, trying. Get that, TJ? Yeah, I've got, I'm I'm not close because I don't want to be close. Yeah. It's trailing a little better than I was but expecting. But yeah, it's actually, you are, yeah, you're not wrong. It is if trailing behind. If you can get a side view, I have the lights on. It'd be really sweet if you could get that, but we don't need it. How's it flying? It flies okay. I'm just trying to keep everything as smooth as possible. Yeah, just keep them tight turns, kind of keep it over here. Well, not tight, but. Tight. Yeah, as, yeah, as, as smooth as possible is really is what I'm trying to go for here while maintaining altitude. Yeah. Is it it's, not it's going? It's kind of lurching. It's not going. Uh, could you try bringing it back in? Yep, I'm going in. Whoa. Slow it nice. down a little bit. Just kind of keep a little bit of tension on it. And nice and slow. So you got about eight, ten feet now. Wow, that's really jerky. How does can, that look to you, TJ? Can you turn your rates it up? It looks terrifying. Oh. Yeah. It's it's kind of oscillating now. All right, uh, rates going to 50. We just got to get it back in there without damaging things too much. All right, now now would be the time probably while we're here. Yeah. If you have to go to 100, go to 100. Oh. Almost. It just wrapped up. Around where the fuselage? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tail fuselage. Is it off now? No, it's still wrapped up. Okay. Is that off? I can't tell. Yeah, I, I can't tell. It's, it's flipping around. Oh. Yeah, I think it, it might have just I released. Good. I think it's off, yeah. All right, go. Just like gun it at 100 well, if you can. I don't know if I would gun it, but you, you're going to tear those doors up. If you can at least All get right, it to go, move. Go, go now. Okay. Uh, uh, get it closer? Can you get it closer? I think right, it's just, caught in the tail. Just hold this. Yeah, it looks like it might be can. caught in the tail. I'm going to let it out again. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm going to flip it. over. He's, he's going to flip. I'm going to flip, yeah. Just try to hold just it hold there. It. All right, flipping now. 
Nice. It cradled it right in. Well, no, it's the tail. tail. It's trailing. Way back. It's trailing, but you have Can, authority, right? Yeah. Are you able to pull it in any further, David? No, this is all it's, it's going. It's going to be stuck here. That's yeah, that's fine. We're I just think, landing. I like think this. we just land it like this. Give yourself plenty of room on that. Yep. Can you kind of pitch up and down a little bit, see if it'll pop? No, I think it's I think it's around the fuselage, yeah. maybe. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna land. Well, all right, some yeah. pressure on here. All right, let's step back a little bit. Appreciate it. I like that speed. I wouldn't get a ton slower. Got it. Keep it going, you're gonna... Beautiful. Fantastic. Beautiful. I'll do it. All right, that was perfectly terrifying. It was, it was like, that was really terrifying. <laughs> So what what's what is going through y'all's minds right now? Terrified. <laughs> I mean, I mean beyond the obvious. Relief that it's yeah. on the ground and yeah. nothing's yeah. broken. <laughs> we need to figure out what we might want to do next time. Yeah. Well, I'd really not like to add more weight to it, but that would uh, that inertia would keep yeah. it from jumping around as much as it was. I think Hopefully drag would help more it than from wrapping it around the tail. If it's heavier, it's yeah. not going to lift itself up as much. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it, it, any landing that you can walk away from is a good one. Yeah. And it did look funny because your airplane grew a tail. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little stinger behind it. Well. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, really, it, it looked fairly solid considering it had, what, 30 foot of cable? Yeah. With a thing flopping around. So what's what's the thought process? What's next? Is it more refinement? Yeah, so we need to figure out a way to keep that sensor from jumping around as much mm -hmm. in flight. I think what it is, we don't have any slack within this line, so every time the, the plane kind of goes around a turn that's pulling on it, it wants to bounce bird. back. So I, th I think we need a little more give in our system. We actually did some test flights earlier year with an apprentice. We were just towing something behind it, and it was swinging in front of the plane. It almost got wrapped up in the front propeller of an apprentice. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely an issue. We thought we were going to solve that just by adding more weight, because this is much bigger than yeah. the test flight that we did. I think that adding some give into the system as well is what, what's going to be next awesome. for us. Well, what we think, we're going to call this video the uh, kind of setup and testing, and then hopefully we'll have yeah. a part two that's, you know, successful deployment, that's retraction, landing, yeah. and everything. <laughs> Guys, appreciate you watching. Subscribe. If you're not, definitely check out the successful flight whenever uh, we get that one. That's right. Yeah. But, all right. See you later. See you guys.